Hi, hi everyone, I'm Katya and welcome to my channel where I share everything you need to know to become a fashion stylist, all the knowledge and all the experience I got from my 15 year career as a fashion stylist working for magazines such as Elle and Cosmopolitan, so welcome! So with this video, I'm actually starting a whole series uh, about how to become a fashion stylist and all the information that you need to become one. So in the first episode, I just want to talk about everything you should know or should consider before even choosing this career, um, because it's a very specific career. So before you even start, you've probably seen uh, this profession either in magazines, you've seen it on TV, in reality shows, you, you saw this glamorous picture portrayed of what it is to be a fashion stylist, but there is so much going on behind the scenes that most people don't know. One of them, I feel, is because fashion stylists just don't want to sh share it. And I don't think this is specific only to fashion stylists. I feel like a lot of the fashion industry professionals and a lot of creatives don't actually want to share what they actually do. They don't want the public to know what is actually going on behind the scenes and what goes into their work. It's a very closed, a very private industry. It's very hard to break in. It's very hard to learn all the tricks of the trade um, so that's why there are many things that I feel people who are interested in pursuing this profession should think about and should know before they actually start putting all the work because in all honesty the amount of time and um, the amount of work that you need to put in before you even start getting any results and before you start getting paid before you can actually live from it it's a very long process and therefore it might actually not be for everyone and you might actually consider something else inside maybe the fashion industry or something completely different not to waste your time let's just die right in it so first thing that i would advise you is just to try and get as much information about the profession as you can and how you can do this is now become a bit easier you might have to do a little bit of research but um at the end it's gonna pay off to put in this work so first of all i would say try to read as many books try to see as many youtube tutorials or youtube series or channels dedicated to fashion styling you can find quite a few i would say my two favorite um, are the fashion mentor she is really cool she really shares the behind the scenes and she also has a lot of classes she has mentorship programs like i do um, so she already has an established YouTube channel and her Instagram. So definitely the fashion mentor, Brittany is the girl uh, who is managing it. And then another one is Erica Matthews, who I just recently found on YouTube. And she has a whole series on becoming a fashion stylist. If you come from London, New York, Paris, LA, it, the story is going to be completely different and breaking into that profession is going to be way different than if you come from a small town like I had, let's say, from Ljubljana. So maybe people who come from smaller fashion markets are going to relate to me better because of it. And people who come from bigger fashion markets who come from like very established fashion scenes and very established industries they were gonna relate to them better so just you know look around and find your fit and you're just gonna see who can provide you the most value or you know watch all of them <laughs> Also, in my previous um, video where I deglamorized the profession of fashion styling, I recommended a book. The book is Mastering Fashion Styling by Joe Dingemans. And I found another great book, 
Fashion Stylist Handbook by Danielle Griffiths very well explain the whole process of fashion styling. So those two books I would recommend you to read before deciding and putting more work and more efforts into this. So before even starting the profession, what knowledge, what skills, personality traits a person should possess to have the best advantage, let's say, and the biggest chance to succeed as a fashion stylist. Of course, at this point, I have to disclaim something. These are just my views and my opinions and what I think and what helped me to become a fashion stylist or a better fashion stylist. It might not be true for everyone and I'm pretty sure that all kinds of people are successful in this business. For instance, I suffer with this depression and anxiety and I still manage to um, create quite a, a good career for myself. At least, you know, like working for Elle has always been my dream. So I accomplished that despite having this. Of course, having depression or anxiety is not great for any business, like especially if you have like social anxiety or things like that where you know, the fashion industry is very social um, you need to network a lot and connect with different people so that you can establish relationships and develop projects and collaborations and things like that. But, you know, it's all manageable if you're passionate enough. So at the end, like all these things that I'm going to point out, like at the end, if you're dedicated and if you're passionate enough, then it doesn't matter if you did a styling school, it doesn't matter if you have panic attacks, it doesn't matter if, you know, you're really not interested in the history of fashion. There's many things that you can learn and there's a lot of knowledge that you're gonna just, that you're gonna learn as you go, like it doesn't mean that you should now read all the books and get all the knowledge before you even start. No, that's not the point. I would just like you to be prepared and informed about all the different um, aspects that go into this job and just to be aware and not be surprised. But yeah, you, you, can, you can learn as you go. When I started, I had zero ideas about anything. The only thing that I knew was, I want to produce these beautiful pictures. Um, I have no idea how to do it, but you know, I learned. It was a long process. Uh, but if you want to speed it up, then definitely try to develop these skills as soon as possible. Try to uh, gain all this knowledge as soon as possible. The faster you're going to do it, then the faster you're going to see success. So as with everything in life, if you're going to be dedicated and if you're going to be passionate about it, then you can make it happen, you know, like, you know, it doesn't matter where you come from, like what your background is. It doesn't matter, like if you are consuming luxury fashion or, you know, if the only thing that you can um, really afford is fast fashion. There is so many possibilities in the world of fashion styling that you shouldn't limit yourself to just one specific idea of what a fashion stylist is. So yeah, there's many areas where you can work as a fashion stylist and provide a good service and be valuable and make a difference and have a purpose. You should just be conscious about like what is your environment, where you're going to work and how you want to work. And then that's going to also set what kind of skills and knowledge you should have. For me, I'm going to focus on fashion styling just because I have the most experience in that area. So yeah, knowledge. Of course, it's very good and useful to know most of the history of dressing and the history of fashion in general. It's good to know different designers, brands, um, their aesthetics, um, as well as a little bit of history because 
many times people are gonna refer to something let's say you know if somebody says 70s style then you should have a clear picture in mind what 70s style is you can learn this from books you can learn this from youtube from movies um documentaries um, magazines this is also something that you can learn as you go same goes for knowing different um, styles of clothing, uh, different silhouettes, different details like the names of the colors, uh, the shirts, the dresses, like uh, names of skirts. So like the terminology that goes into dress. Basically, I think this lies more in like dressmaking, but it's very useful to know as a stylist. Also about textile. Mm. You should know the names of different textiles, know how to dress shapes, different shapes. You should know a little bit about color theory. And then I think the most important is to just keep up with what is happening currently in fashion. So read articles, watch runway shows, uh, follow Instagram accounts. Um, yeah, follow what different designers are doing, what different stylists are doing. Because this is all, like, if you know what's going on, it's going to be easier for you first to, to find inspiration and then also to invent your own things. So just you just have to keep up with what's going on in fashion in general. So again, you can obtain all this knowledge um, by attending. You can even go to... A school you can have a you can be a certified um, stylist but in my opinion like I didn't take any classes I didn't go to any schools back then when I was starting I didn't have the means to do any of this so I just learned everything on my own until I got a mentor you can invest in formal education um, if you have that opportunity you can take some shorter courses um, you can just do it by watching YouTube tutorials and find information that way or yeah you can get a mentor you can also just you know try to wing it you can do this you can do all of this on your own it's just gonna take a lot more time that's for sure okay next one is skills so when it comes uh, to skills, obviously you should have an eye for fashion, you should have an eye for combining clothes, you should have a sense of what looks good and what doesn't on a human form, you should have an idea of like what colors look good, but then again, these are things that change through time, so there is no specific rule that would be like, it's it's this way and everything else is wrong you can have a completely unique style you can do things your way and you know you might even stand up from the crowd because of that and you know break the rules but it's good to know the rules um you're gonna have the biggest advantage as a stylist if you are well organized in all the different ways possible if you can organize your time uh, your workflow if you are well in organizing clothes if you can organize a photo shoot by yourself so if you're very organized and you love organizing things then you're gonna have a, a that that's that's a really good skill um, to have when it comes to clothes yeah, just like maintaining and upkeeping the clothes. <laughs> so like, if you're good at ironing, perfect. It's very useful if you have a driver's license, even if you don't have a car. I mean, a car, I wouldn't say it's necessary because I've done most of my career without one. Obviously, if you have any networking um, good like social skills that is going to be a big advantage as well because a lot of this profession involves creating relationships 
uh, creating connections. If you're not naturally very open, talkative, if you're not very confident, then, you know, these again are things that you can learn. There is obviously a lot that goes into styling itself. So what the stylist does when he, she styles the clothes on a model or, you know, just a real person, on a person. <laughs> Um, but that is like a whole other topic, like what actually goes into styling. But yeah, that is actually the most essential thing. So knowing how to dress a person, that is the biggest skill that you obviously need. And that's it. And then we can just go on to the personality traits, which I always emphasize resourcefulness, resourcefulness, resourcefulness. This is one of the things that if you have this in you, then you're going to be 10 steps in front of everyone else. Just knowing how to make something happen out of nothing. <laughs> it's like, especially at the beginning is going to be super useful. Proactivity. This is very essential because as a fashion stylist, you just have to assess the situation and react really fast and you oftentimes have to lead with your ideas and with your solutions especially um, if you are working as an assistant to fashion stylists you will just have to foresee what needs to be done before anybody tells you what to do you just need to be very independent. Another very important thing is being punctual. Always, 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 always. If you're not punctual, then I advise you to really work on that. Uh, because when you are working with a team of people and you are late is very disrespectful and can also cost a lot of money. Also, when you're returning um, your clothes just always be on time no don't be on time it's like when i was working on a cruise ship they said to us if you are on time you're already five minutes late so i think same goes for fashion stylists if you're on time you're already late so come early always and then of course you just have to have a sense of responsibility you will be responsible for all the stylings which can sometimes be thousands of dollars, pounds, euros, whatever your currency is. And if you're not responsible with those clothes, it can cost you not only money, but it can cost you your career because if you don't respect your agreement, then yeah, that can cost you a lot and it's going to be hard to work because the word travels fast. If you do make a mistake or if something gets broken or if anything happens unfavorable, you just have to own it and you have to, you know, apologize until, <laughs> you know, forever and you will have to pay for things. So always keep in mind that and as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you're not dedicated, then you know, if you're not determined, if you're not the kind of person that, you know, would be persistent and went for, you know, what you want to achieve for your goals, then you're never going to do it in this cutthroat business because, to be honest, it can be very cruel. Um, people in the fashion industry they usually don't give second chances. If you don't have the passion, then someone else is going to get the job because uh, honestly, there are so many people who want to work in this industry that, you know, it's sad to say, but you are replaceable. Even I am replaceable. Keep that in mind. So always just do your best. And that's the only thing that you can do. So that is about your own skill set and knowledge and personality or character but 
Are you really ready for what fashion styling is? It's, like I said, it's not glamorous. It's very physical. It's a lot of hard work and it's a, a lot of hard work for free uh, at the beginning. Um, so you just have to be prepared for that. I talk about this in my video that I will post here, here. <laughs> The link is somewhere here and I talk about this a little bit more what goes into actual styling so that you can prepare yourself for what is to come and know a little bit more about what the stylist actually does. Another thing that you should be aware of before starting is like I mentioned before you're gonna have to work a lot on your connections uh, and just build relationships to help you with that I created two PDFs um, that are downloadable on my website one is a free PDF um, it's about how to network and establish connections as a beginner stylist basically it's a short quick guide a three-step process on how to build your first connections and then I also created a longer version an extended uh, guide on the same topic um, extended it to seven steps went really into detail and is gonna really tell you step by step how to build your first relationships where you can then start doing projects where you can ask for clothes, where you can get your first internships, your mentor, and all the other kinds of relationships that you will need as a fashion stylist. You can also download this. I'm going to put all the links uh, below so you can find both the free version and the extended paid version. And I'm going to also put some discount codes um, for all of you watching. Um, so yeah, grab that. And then the last thing I want to say, uh, which was you will have to invest a lot um, into this career. It's not just taking one class or having a three, two, three, four year uh, formal education on styling. It's not how this profession works. Um, usually it doesn't even matter what kind of education you had before starting this career is more about the dedication and the time that you are willing to put in this it's not something that would happen in a week it's just it's impossible um, but yeah if you really want to do this if you really want to pursue this career if this is your dream then of course you're gonna make it happen that's you know nothing nothing should stop you you're gonna probably most certainly fail at times you're gonna have product projects that you know are gonna look like shit at the end but you know try to learn gain those experiences so that next time you will have better judgment or you know can do better work and that's pretty much it. Follow this uh, channel, <laughs> subscribe to it, and you're definitely gonna see success. And 10,000 million dollars. Gosh, like anyone else cringes like at all these gurus and all these like social media experts who are selling you courses and you're, you know, by the end of this course, you're gonna have a six-figure business. This is not one of those times. Like, I'm just being really really truthfully honest okay so thank you for staying with me up until the end i hope this was valuable for you and please leave a comment let me know if you have any struggles or what are the topics that you would like me to cover all right thank you so much and see you next time